Good evening, my fellow SAP students. Uh, what I would like to do today is I would like to discuss with you the process for uh, creating a cash journal in SAP FICO. Now this is a three-step process. The first step process is you have to actually create the cash journal. In the creation of the cash journal, uh, is going to be done in the SAP Easy Access screen. So in theory, the end user would actually be creating that journal. And uh, your cash journal is going to be an asset because in your balance sheet, your cash journal is an asset. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to set up the uh, cash journal in the IMG screen and in this IMG screen that is what the SAP FICO consultant would do because the end user is supposed to work in the SAP Easy Access screen but the uh, consultant is supposed to work in the IMG screen and so basically once the cash journal has been created in the SAP Easy Access screen uh, you have to assign your cash journal to your company code. You set the credit limit. It's normally going to be around five thousand pounds because for money laundering purposes, uh, any any uh, transactions uh, more than five thousand pounds have to be reported to the financial authorities. Uh, for money laundering purposes. And then the next thing that you do, the third thing is you have to set up which business transactions you're going to allow in the cash journal. And so basically what would happen is you would allow receipts from the bank, from sales, from customers and posting. Uh, for payments, you would set it up to, to pay the bank, pay uh, for purchases, pay for expenses, pay for any expenses such as auto and heat, medical administration, and any vendor postings. And I have just given you just a few examples here on this uh, diagram that I have put together. The fourth thing that you would do is you would define ranges for the cash journals documents. So that would be uh, to define like number ranges. And here it says copy company code 1000 to your company code. Well, that was a training environment because obviously in trainings they didn't want all of that information to be made uh, every time you did it. So they had a company code 1000 that had all the information in it already. But if you were like doing a completely new system, then you would have to put all that information into the system that wouldn't be in here for you. Now the third thing that you would do in the creation of the cash, cash journal is you would have to test it. And again, this th in theory is supposed to be done by the end user because it's done in SAP Easy Access screen. And so basically in the SAP Easy Access screen, you would have a command called FBCJ and that FBCJ would enable you to actually test uh, what you had put into the cast journal and um, so basically that's the three-step process for creating a cast journal this is actually a business transaction uh, it's important that the SAP FICO know as many business transactions as possible because the more business transactions he knows, uh, the more possibility for work he's going to have. And although step one and step three, in theory, are supposed to be done by the end user, if the SAP FICO uh, consultant knows how to do this, then he would have more possibility for getting work as a SAP FICO consultant. So I hope that you've gotten something out of this presentation.